OK, so let's take a look at how we deploy applications using Docker Data Center. Now, when we say application here, we're talking about one or more services working together to provide an overall application. And in the background, it's going to be using networks and volumes and the likes to bring it all together. And you know what? You might sometimes hear it called a stack. But here we are in the Universal Control Plane UI, and we'll see how to do it from the CLI as well in a minute. But while we're here, we want to hit Resources. And we're already on Stacks and Applications here. So if we go Deploy, we want it on Services here, so that's good. And I suppose we should give it a name. Right, now I'm just going to paste in the definition file here. Now, this is effectively a Docker Compose file, so a YAML file. We can see that we're defining some services. So Redis, DB, Vote, I'm keeping count here, Result, Worker, and Visualizer. And within each one, we define its detail. So I don't know which image to use, which networks, anything else that each service needs. Then we're defining some networks and volumes as well. So a single Dockerized application with six services and some networks in storage. Well, we go Create, and UCP's gone off, and it's deploying our app. Look, we even see some of the action here. Well, if we click Done, OK, here's our app. And if we click it, see how we see the services that make it up? Which, if we actually scoot over to Services here, right, it's exactly the same view. One, two, three, six services. Name, image, mode. We can drill in if we want. Uh, this is the front end one here where we cast votes. And we can even take a look at it, right? Now, this is a microservice based app that lets you vote on whether or not you prefer cats or dogs. Then it stores the results in a back end database. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And if we hit refresh, OK. See the container ID here load balancing across all six replicas that were defined for this service in the YAML file. Anyway, that's an application deployed through the UI. To remove it, we just click on it here. And then up here, we choose this. And away it goes. But let's jump onto the CLI of a UCP manager, because you know what? It's just as easy to deploy an application from the CLI. Well, first up, I've got the Docker Compose YAML file here. It's exactly the same as the one we just deployed, so the same six services with networks and volumes. And then we just go Docker Stack Deploy. We tell it which Compose file that we want it to use. And we give it a name. Names are arbitrary, right? But there it is. And while we're on the command line, we've got tools to view it as well. So Docker Stack LS. OK, that gives us a really brief snippet of all of the apps that we're running. Well, just one for us right now. But Docker Stack Services, with our stack or app name on the end here. And look, that's our six services. And if we change that services there for a PS like this, even more detail. So that's how easy it is to deploy an app from the CLI. And of course, even though it's been deployed from the CLI, it shows up in the UI just the same way as the one that we did earlier. So yeah, that stacks or applications with Docker Data Center. We define them in an easy to compose YAML file, feed them into the cluster, and the cluster takes care of deploying them according to how we defined it in the YAML file. To find out more, come and visit us at www.docker.com enterprise.